For the next few days, Maimonides um, focuses on the prohibitions of serving idols. And today in particular, he focuses on the aspect of a person called a masis, somebody who actively tries to convince others to serve idols. And I was thinking about how, you know, obviously that's not so practical in our day and age um, to have people that are trying to convince you to serve idols because that's not really something that we do. Um, but we are going to be speaking about how that is applicable in our culture today. We're going to leave that for tomorrow. However, I was thinking about how in our society, we do have this idea of a Mesa, somebody trying to constantly get our attention in so many different ways. Um, we have, especially on social media and, you know, you, on TV and on the streets and on the billboards, so many distractions um, trying to convince us and our children to bring us down to the lowest common denominator. And I was really thinking about what is the way to keep safe from these distractions. Um, you know, our forefathers were actually shepherds because they didn't want their children to have those distractions. They didn't want them to be living in the real world. And this is why when Joseph's brothers came and found him in Egypt, they didn't recognize him. Here he was the viceroy, the second in command in Egypt. And they said, how can a Jew be living in Egypt in the middle of all of this and still keep to his Jewish values? And they didn't recognize him. They couldn't understand that. And to this, the Talmud gives a fascinating explanation. And it says, in order to kosher meat, we need to salt it, right? That's why a lot of people will say that kosher meat is very salty because we have to salt it. And the question is, and, and, and it's, it's salting it because it needs to extract the blood within it because we know that blood is not kosher. And the question is, well, what is the salt doing? Is it extracting the blood or is it infusing the meat? And to this, the Talmud answers that because the salt is so busy extracting, it cannot be infusing. It can only be doing one thing at a time. And this is the answer to not just raising children in our society, in our culture, but even for ourselves. If we are busy being the influencers, as opposed to being the influencees, that is the key. We must always remember that every single one of us is an influencer. Every single one of us has the power to influence others. And let us remember and recognize that superpower within us. Let us make sure that our children are aware of that superpower within them because so long as they are busy influencing others, there will be no time, there will be no space for them to be influenced. Have a wonderful day.